Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing banking in Thailand, specifically in the context of Thai O marriage visas. For those who are unaware, it is possible for a foreign national to obtain a visa based on marriage to a Thai national. There are a number of formalities associated with that, one of them being you need to meet certain financial requirements. So, for example, if someone is looking to obtain a Thai O marriage visa, it is possible to do so, or specifically an extension, but one needs to show financial documentation which shows at least a minimum balance of 400,000 baht in a Thai bank account or 40,000 baht in income on a monthly basis. So again, it's going to vary greatly depending on what one wants to use in terms of pension versus lump sum. But the question posed by this video is, what about joint bank accounts? Because many married folks have a joint bank account, a household account. Can I use that joint bank account to, to display my evidence of financial ability to maintain myself in Thailand? Can I use that bank account? The short answer is yes, it is possible, but joint banking creates a number of rather nettlesome issues associated with the adjudication of the financial documentation. Most notably, for example, if you throw 400,000 baht into that account, the presumption is it's 50-50 owned by each spouse. So for this reason, and, and there are more, but for this reason, as well as, for example, with pension, if, if pension money comes in there or offshore income, whatever, funds come in there that meet the, to meet the requirement, again, the presumption is it's 50-50 in possession of each of the parties. So, for example, if you had 400000 in a bank account and it's a joint account, you're going to need to show 800000 just to meet the 400000 requirement. It kind of defeats the purpose of even having a marriage visa as opposed to a retirement visa because you need the same 800000 you'd need for retirement anyway. So how is this dealt with? Well, best advice, long story short, is probably better to just have a singular bank account that one utilizes when proving up their finances for purposes of a marriage visa extension here in the Kingdom of Thailand.